Pem Pem is the sound of motorbike taxis cruising through traffic. It's also the name of this popular way of getting around Liberia. But Blama Fontana is using a Pem Pem to steer his life in a new direction. When I started riding motorbike really, I wasn't going to school. But later on, I see that I was getting little money. I said it would be better for me to start going to school. That's why I registered myself in a private school. On a busy day, Blama earns around 600 Liberian dollars. The equivalent of eight US dollars. Enough to foot the bill for 400 US dollars in annual school fees. The 17 year old came to Liberia's capital, Monrovia, four years ago. When I was small, you know, my, my, because my father is a Muslim, so during my small time, he sent me into a different country, which is Sierra Leone, to go and learn Arabic. But later on, 2007, my mother decided that I should go to school too, because a lot of people are going to school. They seen that school as being so important in the society. His parents live in Lofa County close to the country's border with Sierra Leone. <laughs> but the best schools are in the coastal capital. Blama finishes classes at two and rides his bike for around four hours before returning to the wrecked building where he lives. $20 in rent each month buys him a room here. When 8 o'clock, I pack my motorbike and come and study from 8 to 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock, I go to bed. In the morning, I wake up and prepare myself for school. Civil war in Liberia lasted for more than a decade, leaving the country's infrastructure in tatters. Economics teacher George Williams has seen the country try to get moving again. Because of the bad road condition. Cars could no longer reach to places where they wanted to go, where people wanted to go. So as a result, the Pepe was brought in to help carry people in the villages and towns of Liberia. The motorbikes have helped to drive forward the country's economy, left battered by the conflicts that ended 10 years ago. At the beginning of this uh, period, even people were doing battering system. If I got rice and you got fish, I, 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 I give you rice, you give me fish. But now people are buying with physical cash. It costs 30 Liberian dollars to transport a passenger for one kilometer. three times less than the cost of taking someone the same distance in a Kenyan border border and half of the cost of the same journey on a moto in Rwanda. For Blama, driving people around in exchange for an education seems like a fair trade. Being educated is most important in a society where I see a lot of people are holding position in the government or a lot of institutions. They are educated. After school, I want to be a lawyer. That's my dream. I want, to, I want it to come true. One of Liberia's youth politicians was a student leader at the University of Liberia. We're talking about a generation that that is lacking behind, not because they wanted to stay behind, because our viewers in the past probably did not do them justice. Many children are forced to work full time instead of going to school. And some are the breadwinners for their families. The Liberian government has launched a three million US dollar initiative aimed to boost employment prospects for young people. This has put the wheels in motion for more young people to get an education and slowly build towards the careers they want. <laughs>